Hey, I'm Xander Arnott with RetroWare. I'm art director on the Toxic Crusaders video game. Where did the Toxic Crusaders video game come from? Like, whose idea was it to return to this long-forgotten children's cartoon series? It's it's a long story, but basically, you know, we've, we've had some experience with Troma, uh, with Blake Kaufman and, and the gang, and uh, we decided, you know, it'd be so fun to revisit the cartoon. Uh, there's a lot of personality there. There's a lot of untapped potential with those characters, so we thought it'd be great to bring them into the fray of the new beat-em-up scene, you know? And there's, uh, I mean... Is this coming off the... I know you're not involved with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game, but um, is this coming off the success of the Ninja Turtles? So we had actually planned on making this game about a year a year and a half ago, roughly. So we had kind of already started working on the game when Turtles came out. And then when, when we saw how well that did, I mean, it was just only... It was, it was full win in the sales for realizing that the, the genre was going to be successful and do really well. So. What are some of the things of the game that we can look forward to seeing? So we have, uh, we're going to, we're planning to have the full cast, all, all of the Crusaders, uh, including, uh, you know, Yvonne for the first time, Toxie's girlfriend, and uh, Mrs. Junko, Toxie's mom, which will be really awesome. We're planning on having some uh, trauma film references. Uh, you know, we're, we plan to have references to poultry geist, uh, you know, return to, uh, you know, classic new pie, stuff like that. So it'd be really great to, to go to those places in the context of the cartoon. How many levels is the game? Uh, right now it's seven. We have seven levels, uh, but each each level has a, a, a selection of, uh, of scenes and set up, so um, it, it's pretty densely packed and stuff. And unlike the movies, it's pretty child-friendly, too. It is. So we're trying to, you know, trauma is trauma, so we're trying to kind of, like, well, how would Troma or whoever's developing the cartoon go about adapting some of these properties to this world without compromising their appeal? You know what I mean? Just that's kind of basically what the show did. You know, it's still got that edge. Um, the writer John Locke did a fantastic job adapting the characters' personalities to um, talk about the scenes that they're in, and it's, it's pretty fun. And the game comes out late this year. That's the plan. That's the goal. Yeah, absolutely. So in time for Halloween. That would be awesome. We, we love that. It's a very Halloween. What's what's that. what's uh what's making it not come out till late this year? Uh, well, we you know, but besides the movie release, we want to make sure that we've got that lined up. But we're also still working on the game. You know, we're making sure that it's it's what it needs to be when it comes out, and it, it, it's what everyone wants it to be. Will there be a physical release in like a neon green that kind would be of? So cool. Yeah, instead of like a black box or a blue box or whatever it is. Yeah, Yeah, with physical releases, it's tricky, right? So we don't have anything set in stone, but assuming the game does well enough and there's demand for it, I can't I can't see why we wouldn't try and shoot for that, you know? Who are the actors playing the different people, do you know? So we have um, members of Team Four Star okay. working on it, you know, Dragon Ball Z and Bridge. Um, they've they're come on board to help voice direct and, and be different characters in the cast. So we haven't announced who's playing who yet, but you'll know soon enough when we start posting stuff about it, you know? Did you ever watch the cartoon growing? up? I did not, actually. So I, I, I came into the project uh, when I heard we were doing toxic stuff and did all of the research I possibly could. Um, I, I grew up with the 80s cartoons. I love animation. I love cartoons, especially from that era. So it was a treat, kind of like realizing that I, I found nostalgia in something I'd never actually watched as a kid, you know? Um, but it's so outrageous and wacky looking that I, it, was, it was a treat to get into it, you know? Of the uh, different monsters, who's your favorite one? Of the uh, of the Crusaders, yeah. Uh, in game right now, uh, we just added a major disaster. He is he is a beast right now. He, I love how he plays. Each one's so unique, but I mean, you gotta go talk to him. Talk to him is my favorite right now. Speaking of, he's, he's showing up right now. Actually. Oh, fantastic! I yeah, get a picture so, with him. Yeah. Um, and what did you have to handle on the game being a developer? I'm the art director for the game. Okay, so, so what did you get to design? Yeah, so I, I did some of the concept art for for Yvonne. I'm kind of helping the artist. Uh, and Yvonne is the style. company. That made it. Uh, no, Retroware. Retroware, okay. Retroware. Uh, Yvonne is the is like I was giving a specific example. Of oh, 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 okay, gotcha. Yeah, so so I was like I was like that's did they name it after Toxie's girlfriend? No, right. that would be a, a very bizarre choice. But um, no, so working with artists, uh, get everything to look oh, right, backgrounds, dude. everything like that. So, cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We have so many talented people on the team working with the concept artists, the background artists. Everything is is, is coming to life through them. So it's it's really great. The art style is so fun, by the way. I love it. We're going super 90s with this as well. I can tell, yeah. yeah. Classic style beat-em-up looks fantastic. My favorite is always the dog, the junkyard yeah, dog with the spikes. Okay, so he's a fan favorite right definitely, now. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, you can say everyone's favorite. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate yeah, it. No problem. For sure. Clean-up time, right? <laughs>